Radio Genics. What's poppin' YouTube? Today I want to introduce you to my new cooker. It's a reverse flow offset. It's a Meadow Creek TS120P. I'm gonna be giving you a full in-depth review of this thing. She is a bad unit, let me tell you. Let's get into it. All right guys, this is her. Hopefully you get a decent uh, view of this thing. Um, with the sunlight the way it is. Like I said, she is a Meadow Creek TS120P. It's a patio uh, model. It is, uh, it's got uh, just about 2,000 square inches of cooking space. I only got it with the, the only extra option I got it with is the stainless steel shelf. Everything else is standard. It's got these uh, positive locking latches. You know, I don't know if uh, this is a tell true thermometer. Um, it looks like one, but you know, usually it has that tell true symbol in there and I don't see that, but um, I haven't yet tested the accuracy of it, but for the price of these things, I'm, I'm sure it's a, uh, a good thermometer. Let's pop this bad boy open. Let's see what we got inside. All right, let's take a look at the cook chamber in this thing. This thing is all made out of quarter inch thick steel. It's got uh, two stainless steel shelves in it. Like I said, it's got 2,000 square inches of cooking space on it. Um, I already did my seasoning and I already did one cook on it so far. Like I said, standard with the stainless steel shelves, 24 inches deep. Like I said, this is a reverse flow smoker. So. It's gonna be kinda hard to uh, see in there. Get really poor lighting, but I don't know if you can make it out. It's got a plate in there. You know what? Let me get some better lighting out here. So anyways, I don't know if you can make it out in there. So there's this is a reverse flow smoker and it's got a channel in there. So it's pitched to the left and it's also got a little V channel in there. And all the grease and everything drips into that V channel and it's pitched so that it runs straight out down to my uh, two inch ball valve there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, firebox. Ton of room on this thing. And it drafts beautifully. That stack is about, I don't know, 24 inches maybe tall. Another, again, positive lock latch on the firebox. And, you know, I'll try to get some uh, still photos of this thing. The sun is killing me today. See that thicket steel there? quarter inch steel on the firebox. Again, I hope you can make this all out. You got these two pins that come off. Let's go ahead and close this guy up. These two pins that come off here, and you got your pull out ash pan, which I'm gonna empty out actually before I cook on it today. It's got the uh, Meadow Creek M welded into the firebox. It's got some, uh, I guess like I don't know, 18 inch tall tires maybe. This thing, stainless steel handle. Weighs nearly a thousand pounds I believe. From what I, I think on the site, the ship weighs a thousand pounds so it might be like around, you know, eight, nine hundred pounds maybe. It is a bad, bad, bad unit. Let's see, I don't know if I can think of any other major it's got casters in the front and then it's got the tires in the back the hubs of the tires are greasable holds temperature beautifully and we'll get some videos of that shortly it's a 120 ga pro gallon propane tank smoker pull out shelves all stainless steel Beautiful. I don't know, maybe a four inch stack, I want to say, maybe. 
drafts beautifully. Nice fenders. This is where your temperature adjustment is done. Got some expanded steel in behind it. Stainless steel handles, cool touch handles. Yeah, I hope you can make that all out. I mean, super simple. You know, not, not a whole lot of crazy features, if you will, but it's just designed to, you know, I can get this thing up to 250, no problem. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a couple comments. If you have any questions about this pit, uh, leave me a couple comments. I'll be glad to answer any questions, any videos you guys want to see of this thing. Let me know. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to get a lot of great cooks on this thing. i got plenty of room on here. I, I could easily probably fit maybe eight briskets on here, you know, 15-pound briskets on here, maybe 16 pork butts. I, I don't know. The thing's, the thing's a nice patio home-size uh, smoker.